Well, it's another very warm welcome back, all my classic dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks once more to you all for tuning in to Classic Dirt Bike TV. Now, in this next uh, featured clip, we're going to go back to 2005 and take a look at some uh, classic CCM racing from the Nostalgia uh, Scramble. So we have one or two uh, good races lined up for here, so without any further ado, let's get straight in to race one. And uh, straight from the start line, we can see that uh, number seven there is uh, the great uh, CCM X Works rider, Jimmy Aird, who has uh, taken the whole shot in this race. Jimmy, of course, famous for riding that uh, number seven Alan Clues uh, CCM machine. As you can see, a beautiful day for classic racing here at the Nostalgia Scramble. And uh, the CCM racing in particular uh, drew some of the biggest crowds to this uh, 2005 event. Now we'll try our best to pick out one or two of the other riders as this uh, race continues. But as you can see, uh, Jimmy at this time has lost none of that speed that he enjoyed as a works rider from back in the day and still very quick on uh, these uh, CCM bikes. So it's Jimmy Aird, number seven, your race leader, and uh, very close behind is uh, the youngster uh, Scott Maxwell, number 58, on that uh, other CCM, which is about 600 cc. Uh, young Scott, of course, is the son of uh, Joe Maxwell, who uh, built these 1974 uh, replica CCMs. So uh, Scott is uh, well placed to have a very quick bike uh, to race at this uh, 2005 Nostalgia Scramble. But uh, Jimmy Aird still your race leader, although Scott Maxwell goes down the inside and takes the inside line. But Jimmy Aird fights back and retains that uh, pole position. Now this 2005 Nostalgia event is held by kind permission of the landowners John and David Metcalf. But it's still number seven, Jimmy Aird, your race leader. Second is Scott Maxwell. Third, looks like it's uh, number 100. I think that could be uh, Tony Barnes, but uh, please uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in that respect, as uh, 2005 is uh, a few years ago. And this was actually the very first time I attended the Nostalgia Scramble now. Uh, Friends kept on telling me for years about the Nostalgia Scramble and never uh, made the trip, but this was the very first year that I made uh, the trip down to this uh, absolutely fantastic uh, race event. So it's still Jimmy Aird, number seven, the ex-Works CCM rider, leads Scott Maxwell in second with Tony Barnes in third. But Jimmy Aird, of course, an absolute legend on these Alan Clues CCM bikes and uh, Jimmy has uh, many years of uh, experience uh, riding uh, all kinds of uh, off-road motorcycles and uh, ever since Jimmy raced his old uh, BSA C C15 at his local uh, grass tracks in the Fife where he lived, uh, Jimmy has uh, moved on to uh, bigger and better uh, things. Uh, down the years, but here he is still leading this 2005 uh, CCM challenge event at the uh, Nostalgia Scramble. So it's still Jimmy Aird, number seven, who is your race leader. Second is still Scott Maxwell, and in third place it's uh, Tony Barnes. So as Jimmy Aird makes his way to the start and finish line to uh, begin his last and final lap in this uh, first CCM challenge race of the 2005 Nostalgia Scramble. He's uh, still managing to keep those uh, relative youngsters behind him of uh, Scott Maxwell and uh, number 100 here, uh, Tony Barnes, who looks like he's uh, looking to make a move on uh, Scott Maxwell's bike, so it could be a good finish to the chequered flag, but it's still Jimmy Aird, your race leader. Second is now Tony Barnes. Third is Scott Maxwell as they all head towards the finish line. But Scott Maxwell is making the comeback 
unfortunately Scott Maxwell is now gone down so it looks like it's going to be a win for Jimmy Aird in first position with Tony Barnes in second. Okay next up we go straight into race two and as you can see once again Jimmy Aird uh, grabbed the whole shot from uh, what looks like Tony Barnes in its second position so Jimmy already beginning to uh, open up a substantial uh, gap on this uh, first part of a lap one. Now I remember when commentators would uh, nickname Jimmy the Crab because of his uh, over the bars riding style but uh, even here in 2005 that you can see that uh, Jimmy's not lost any of the speed that he enjoyed when he rode for the Allen Clues CCM team all those uh, years ago. Now some of the other riders going through there is uh, number 454 that's Peter Hollinshead. Uh, number 4 that just went through was uh, Robert uh, Kennedy. But here is your race leader on uh, race 2. On lap 2 it's number 7 Scotsman uh, Jimmy Aird on that uh, superb uh, number 7 uh, CCN bike. But Jimmy of course had a few years riding other motorcycles including uh, Cottons although his uh, turning point was when he switched to CZ when the winds uh, started to come fast and furious. But Jimmy of course was part of a bunch of legendary British riders who would take part in the BBC Grandstand Winter Scramble series on TV and uh, Jimmy at this time would be racing an AGIS Stormer against the likes of uh, Dave Bickers, Jeff Smith, Alan Clough and uh, always lists one of his toughest opponents as Bob Wright who was, uh, he said, hard to beat and virtually never ever gave up. And as you can see Jimmy's doing absolutely uh, superbly here at the 2005 Nostalgia Scramble still uh, leading this uh, second race it looks like Tony Barnes is uh, still sitting there in second position but uh, gradually making his way up to the back wheel of Jimmy so this could be a very good race as we head towards uh, the closing stages but still in second position it's number 100 it's uh, Tony Barnes riding of course another uh, model of CCN bike and we don't need me to tell you about the great Alan Clues who started CCN motorcycles way back in the early 1970s when he bought over the defunct VSA competition department and then went on to build his fantastic race winning four strokes using what was uh, basically an old B5500 uh, BSA road bike motor. In fact that was uh, one of the things that uh, BSA uh, wouldn't hand over when Alan first uh, purchased the franchise, it was uh, that BSA wouldn't give him uh, access to the BSA competition engines and that's why Alan uh, then just took this old BSA B50 motor, did some tuning and improvements on it to make them uh, into what you're seeing here. But it's great to see these uh, CCM bikes still performing on the track in this uh, relatively modern day and uh, it's great to see legends, the likes of this man here, number 7, Jimmy Aird, doing what he's done for many years and uh, ride the socks off one of these uh, CCM race bikes. So here's your race leader, it's still number 7, uh, Jimmy Aird. Second position is still Tony Barnes, number 100. Third is Scott Maxwell. Uh, fourth is uh, number 227, unfortunately I don't know the name of that particular uh, rider number 454 going through there is uh, Peter, <laughs> Peter Holland's head and uh, there's a particular CCN rider just made the turn a bit sharp but nevertheless uh, still looks like he's uh, okay. But your race leader is still uh, number 7 Jimmy Aird and uh, Jimmy of course is giving away a certain uh, age advantage to these uh, relatively younger riders behind him of uh, Scott Maxwell and Tony Barnes but uh, there's certainly no accounting for experience when it comes to riding uh, these big 
at four-stroke British-made machines. Uh, Chris Malam there just uh, snapping away, taking pictures for uh, the VMX uh, magazine. But uh, this track here at the Nostalgia Scramble is an absolutely fantastic uh, platform for spectators to view the racing because it's like a uh, modern-day amphitheatre where uh, the uh, spectator uh, sites are elevated so there's uh, not really much of the track that you don't uh, see but it's still Jimmy Aird, your race leader number 7 looks like he's heading towards his uh, second win of the day in this CCM challenge at uh, race 2 second is this man here, number 100, uh, Tony Barnes Although the sad and unfortunate thing about this uh, Nostalgia Scramble was that uh, this event is uh, no more as uh, the last uh, Nostalgia Scramble was held here at uh, Home Farm in 2017. So we're looking at second place man uh, Tony Barnes who is uh, still chasing down Jimmy Aird as they head towards uh, the chequered flag but it looks like Jimmy has a decent enough lead to carry him uh, through to his second uh, win of the day so it looks like it's going to be a win again for Jimmy Aird in first position second is going to be Tony Barnes and in third position it's going to be uh, Scott Maxwell OK, right into uh, race three now uh, the whole shot this time looks like it's uh, going to be given to Scott Maxwell, number 58. Second is Jimmy Aird. Third looks like Simon Watson, who is actually riding a JBR Honda, but uh, these four-stroke Hondas are uh, allowed to race against these uh, British-made uh, CCM bikes. And as you can see in this particular weekend, it was a, an absolutely beautiful and almost perfect weekend for this type of uh, classic uh, racing so as the rest of the riders make their way through number 190 going through is uh, Simon Watson number 14 or 141 is uh, Robert Kennedy so as the riders come towards us to begin lap 2 it's still uh, the youngster Scott Maxwell who of course his uh, father is uh, Joe Maxwell of uh, Jai M.E. Engineering, who build these 1974 uh, replica CCM bikes, and uh, as you can see, Scott has a very quick uh, four-stroke Allen Cruise bike underneath him. And so, as our race leader comes up to make the turn, it's number 58, Scott Maxwell, your race leader. Second, number seven, uh, Jimmy Aird, who is uh, trying his damnedest to uh, get on to terms with the. Uh, young uh, rider who uh, hails from uh, Dumfries in Scotland but uh, Jimmy Aird you can rest assured will uh, certainly not uh, give up if there's half a chance of uh, taking the hat-trick of wins in this uh, CCM uh, challenge event but uh, these days Jimmy tends to uh, limit his uh, racing to these uh, bigger classic and vintage at race events because uh, most of his uh, time these days is taken up running his uh, Scott Leathers uh, motorcycle uh, clothing business. But of course the prize money that you win at these uh, classic and vintage uh, race events these days is a far cry from uh, when Jimmy used to win uh, £10 at a race meeting uh, when he used to do uh, grass tracks and scrambles. Uh, to supplement uh, his income from uh, helping his dad uh, on the farm but he would always maintain that uh, uh, the money was not his uh, motivation for uh, continuing racing he just uh, loved uh, taking his bike out and racing them against uh, like-minded uh, people and uh, trying to win races number 141 there is uh, Robert Kennedy from uh, Scotland on his uh, nice at 1975 uh, 580 uh, CCM bike. This is the bike, of course, uh, that uh, the late uh, Vic Eastwood uh, used to race back in the day. 
OK, number 58, Scott Maxwell is still your race leader and it looks like Scott's looking uh, very comfortable for the win in this third and final uh, CCM Challenge race. Jimmy Aird is still uh, in there in second position but uh, slightly uh, a little bit further back this time but looks like he's going to be able to secure that uh, second uh, place position. But the late uh, Alan Clues has certainly left a huge uh, legacy behind him after uh, starting his uh, motorcycle uh, manufacturing uh, shop in the early 1970s when Alan first started producing uh, the Clues Stroker, which of course was the very first bikes that Alan Clues ever produced, and that was even before he even uh, registered this name, uh, CCM uh, or Clues competition at machines. So we're looking at number seven, our second place position rider, uh, Jimmy Aird, who of course was a CCM watch rider for many years for uh, the Allen uh, Clues team. And uh, Jimmy looks like uh, he's being caught by at number 82 and who unfortunately uh, I'm uh, not able to identify. Uh, number 100, uh, Tony Barnes, looks like he's in third position. It looks like it's going to be a good battle to the finish flag between uh, this uh, number 82 rider and uh, Tony Barnes. So it's still Scott Maxwell, your race leader. Second is Jimmy Ayer. Third is number 82. And uh, Tony Barnes, number 100, is in fourth position. So as they head through on their last and final lap of this third CCM challenge race, it looks like uh, Tony Barnes is uh, challenging uh, Jimmy Aird for that second place position. So it's going to be a bit of a tough uh, gig if Jimmy can uh, hang on to that second place. So uh, Scott Maxwell, it looks like, is going to take the win. But uh, Jimmy Aird is now under pressure from uh, Tony Barnes to steal that second place. Now remember Jimmy has already won two races in the CCM Challenge but it looks like uh, Tony Barnes has uh, missed a gear coming out the corner so it looks like Scott Maxwell is going to be your race winner. Second is going to be Jimmy Ayer. Third is going to be Tony Barnes and fourth is number 82. OK I do hope you've enjoyed having a look at uh, some of these uh, classic CCM uh, bikes in action on the track and don't forget if these are the kind of bikes that you like to look at here on uh, YouTube then please consider subscribing to my channel. Once again thank you very much for watching and we'll speak again when we return soon to Classic Dirt Bike TV.